Hi, if you give me 15 minutes, I'm going to explain to you exactly why you need to watch the Linda videos this week. As you know, I'm your instructor. 15 minutes, I'm going to tell you why you need to watch the Linda videos this week. This is what we're going to be covering. Uh, which videos you need to watch, and then I'm going to take you, and why do you need to watch all the videos, and then I'm going to take you where they are in Linda. We're going to be watching the videos from the HTML and XHTML Essential Training. Let me change that. It should say XHTML. Central training. And then we're going to be downloading Notepad for our PC users. Mac users might be downloading Text Wrangler. It's totally up to them. And then I'm going to be talking to you about the commentary that I provide to you uh, for those Linda videos. And then at the bottom of those of that commentary for each of the chapters that you're watching, I'm going to show you where your mini little assignments are. There's three parts to this week's assignment, and all three of the parts build on each other. Um, if you're watching through the videos, the assign if you're watching through the videos, the videos are going to specifically walk you through exactly what you need to do for your assignment. I'm also going to show you how to unzip the Linda chapter files and where they're located in the course. And they're zip files, so you're going to have to unzip those. And I'm going to show you how to do that in WinZip. If you need a free, if you do not have access to WinZip, um, I suggest downloading WinRAR. And then I'm going to show you how to then zip your HTML files that you're going to be submitting to me. You're going to put them all in a folder. You're going to label that folder week one homework with your last name. And then you're going to be z creating an archive or, or a compressed file or whatever your computer wants to call it. Basically creating a zip file of those uh, of that folder of files. And then you can attach it to the your assignment within the course. And uh, by the time you've gotten to this page, you're probably looking over here on the left-hand side and you're thinking, man, that's a lot of videos to watch. And yes, it is, but this is truly the, what will demonstrate for you what you're reading in your chapter, what you're reading in your book for this week, which is chapters uh, two and three. So this would be what you'd be getting from me in the classroom. We'd be learning about just some basic introductory stuff. Same thing here, basic introductory stuff. But the main things that you're going to be working with is here when you get over here when you're being introduced to text tags and how to start putting those into your text editor, image tags and how to start adding in images and then link tags. So truly the most important things for you if you had to triage some of this is really chapters two through three. But if you could spend another 20 minutes and watch these introductory videos I think that would really help you. So again, these are the videos that you need to watch this week to be successful, especially chapters two through four of your Linda resources. So let's just remind, let's just go through real quick on how to log into Linda. So we're gonna click on informational, so this informational services link. That was this link right here. And then when you get to this page, which is provided from the library, you're gonna click on the Linda training login page. You're gonna enter in your last name. Then you're going to in your, I call it a connections ID, some people call it a student ID. And then you also, don't forget you have to enter in EWL after you enter in your connections ID. And there it goes. Now we got to find the course. The fastest way that I do it is I click on subject, then I go to web interactive. Then I click on HTML, HTML5, and then I filter it a little bit more by clicking on this HTML. So again, I went to Subject, Web Interactive, then I filtered it with HTML, HTML5, then I click on HTML, scroll to the bottom, and this week, our last week, this is our course, Web Design Fundamentals, this week we're watching Bill Wyman's XHTML and HTML Essential Training. So click on that link, and then basically you're watching everything from the introduction all the way down through link tags. So basically what we're doing this week is like I said we're adding text to our text editor, we are learning how to add inline images using our text editor, and we're also adding in links using our text editor. You may be thinking, hmm, text editor, that sounds neat. Well he's going to talk about that here up above about how to choose a text editor, and I have that information here for you as well. What you'll notice is as you click through the week, I'm going to provide you commentary on those different chapters. So for example, introducing XHTML and HTML, 
here's some commentary. This is where I provide you specific information on how those videos relate to the course. Same thing with text tag. Here's me talking to you about what Bill is talking about and how that information applies specifically to our course. You'll also notice at the bottom you'll have a mini assignment that you'll be turning into me. So you'll you'll watch all of the videos here from chapter two and then you'll have an assignment and I'll give you specific directions on how to do that. And these assignments generally should be geared somewhat towards your term project. In the end you don't necessarily have to use the HTML that you're creating from these assignments for your term project but most students end up doing that. Um, there's also a time this week where you'll be sharing that uh, examples of some of the stuff that you've created with the class in your term project journal. And you could choose to use, just share some of the stuff that you use for your assignment. Let's back up a second. And let's go to, so here's the, where I introduce, here's all the videos you need to watch. Let's go back to the next page. Here, uh, there's a couple things I want to point out. In the text editor sec segment of the video that you're watching from Linda, that's uh, choosing a text editor. Here I provide you links to Text Wrangler if you're on a Mac. Here's the Text Wrangler site. I also provide you links to Notepad++. These are all um, sites that Bill recommends. Let's just walk through. I'm a lot, I'm get normally when I have students in this class, 90% of them are PC users, so I'm just going to walk you through quickly how to install Notepad++ if you don't already have it. Most likely you already have Notepad, which is fine, but I would, this free version, Notepad++, I highly recommend it. So you get to the home page of Notepad++, we're going to click the download link. I recommend just don't, I, I'm, this stuff scares me over here on the side. This is like uh, iframe type stuff from advertisements. It could be bad stuff, so don't click it. It could be viruses or something. Anyways. Uh, this here is the very first one that you should probably need to install. It even tells us take this one if you have no idea which one you should take. It's going to give you a dialog box, save the file. Now I need to navigate in my computer to my downloads area. And I already uh, downloaded it a second ago. I'm going to go ahead and double click. Do you want to allow, I have uh, Windows 7, so this is what Windows 7 is going to look like, so most likely I'm guessing a lot of you might be on XP, maybe Vista, uh, but this is how it's going to look like on Windows 7. Uh, do you want the following program from Unlum Publisher to make changes to this computer? I'm going to choose yes. I'm going to just choose English. Then here's the setup information for Notepad++. I'm going to go ahead and click Next. Uh, I've gone through and read all this stuff. Well, so, somewhat. Go ahead and hit agree. It's now telling me where it's going to install the file. I'm going to hit next. And now I'm going to, this is other information. It says check the components you want to install and uncheck the components you don't want to install. Uh, I'm just going to go, for our purposes, I'm just going to go ahead and install all of it. And then uh, enable this option to write configuration files. Um, I'm, don't worry about this stuff. I, I don't normally put short on my, shortcuts on my desktop anyways. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and hit install. It takes a couple seconds to install. Now I'm going to go ahead and click finish. So this is just a log of what happened. So now this is Notepad++. All the labs on campus have this. If you're at an extended Webster campus, it should have Notepad++, Notepad++ also. Again, it's a free program. I recommend you installing it. Um, so here's just a blank page. So now we have Notepad++. So that's the first step that you need to get going this week. And then continue to watch Bill's video. So let's say you want you just finished watching choosing a text editor. Remember, you click the link. It opens up. Here's Bill talking about um, Text Wrangler. We've already watched that video. We've installed our own text editor. You can just hit next and you can continue to watch uh, Bill's videos. Again, he's going to be demonstrating for you. Um, I'm clicking through the introductory video. So like, for example, this is him in Notepad++ uh, demonstrating for you on how to, uh, well, this video here specifically is talking about the differences in HTML and XHTML. But what I would recommend doing is, let's say you're watching this video, notice how I just press pause. 
um, using his sample files, which I'll show you about in a second, you can just follow along and do everything that he's doing. That's the way that these videos are designed. And you're saying, oh, sample files, what do you mean by that? Well, let me show you where those are. Instead of you having to download the entire, all of the sample files for the entire Linda course, I provided you specific ones here uh, linked in with the course so you can just quickly come and, and download them here and they're smaller so you don't have to download this large zip file. So we're going to click download exercise files for chapter one. Again I get a dialog box it's telling me to save the file. I now have to navigate to my downloads folder and here is the file it's going to be 01 representing chapter one xhtml ex for exercise files html 2009 essential training so I have the ability to open them with WinZip. You can also download WinRAR Archiver. It's a free download if you don't have access to WinZip. And then when I have WinZip open, all I have to do is just say extract. And it's going to automatically extract the files within my downloads folder. I'm just going to hit extract. And now I have this file. So I go into chapter 1, XHTML. And then you'll notice here it says 3, 4, 5, and 6. These correlate with chapter 1, video 3, 4, 5, and 6. And at the beginning of his videos, you'll, you noticed maybe that he tells you which file you're supposed to open. So exercise files 01 XHTML, that's the folder, 03 simple. So let's find that file. 03 simple HTML. So now I'm going to choose to open it in Notepad++. And basically it's blank. Let's see what the plain one has. Open with uh, open with Notepad++. It's blank as well. I'm guessing these aren't all blank, but for example, well those are, let's go into Why are these not opening? There we go. So there must have been something funky going on with Notepad++. I'm going to go back to simple because there should be something on this. Edit with Notepad++. There we go. So here's the code. So now we can actually follow along with Bill as he is editing that code. Again, let's go through and look, just as a reminder, these are you're supposed to watch all of the videos from ideally the introduction through uh, chapter four. And then within the course, I provide you commentary on the introduction, on text tags. Here's chapter two's files. You notice at the bottom there's a mini assignment. Image tags, you notice at the bottom, there's a mini assignment. And then link tags, you notice at the bottom, there's a mini assignment. So don't think of it as three different assignments because all three of them kind of work together. And then you're going to be saving those files, follow the directions, save the files, and then you're going to be attaching them here this week. You can go to activities, you'll notice down here it says homework. I also provide you all of it in the three, the three different parts all here in one area. So homework exercise part one, part two, part three. Now, where do you turn this in, you might ask. Let's click Next. Next thing you'll get is the quiz. Let's see, where's the assignment at? Oh, it's not showing up because I have it hidden right now from your view. I'm just going to quickly go and just show you where it is. So this is what the assignment's going to look like. Scroll down to the bottom, and then you're going to be adding it as a zip as a zip attachment. So this is going to tell you to put all of your all of your files into a folder, all of your HTML files into a folder, and then you're going to be zipping it. So let me demonstrate real quick. Let me find some files I can zip for you. Let's say I wanted to zip the files we just downloaded. So I can right click right click on 01 XHTML so the, your file would be something more like 
uh, I told you to save it with, I think, how did I tell you to save it? Let's see. So week one, assignment, last name. So I'm going to just copy this. So week one, underscore, assignment. Let's say my last, I'll just put my last name. So now all of those HTML files that I just saved for my assignment are all with here within week one, underscore, assignment, uh, underscore, assignment, underscore, my last name. So now I'm going to right click on that. And within Windows 7, what I have to do is I have to make a compressed zip folder, depending on if you have XP or Vista or even Mac. Uh, the steps are a little bit different. If you have trouble with this, let me know. But in, a, in Windows 7, um, we're going to just go to send. We're going to right click on it, go to send to compress a zip folder, and then just automatically makes me a zip. So now here I have this zip. So now that's what you need to send to me so that I can grade it. If you have questions about that process, uh, let me know.